Hey guys, how are you doing? It's day 11 of the Purple Cow Arts and Crafts Advent Calendar. Yesterday was an absolute bust. Let's see what we've got today. Okie dokie, here's day 11. Let's get it open and see if we can guess what's inside. So this is day 11. As you can see, it looks pretty well stuffed. So hopefully there's lots of fun inside because I need some fun after yesterday. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, okay. So we've got a polystyrene ball, um, a bag of mixed pom poms, and some yarn. Okay, let's look in the book and see what we're making today. Okay, guys, so today we're making a pom pom ball tree decoration. The items that should be in the box were styrofoam ball, pom poms, yeah, nice big bag of pom poms yarn and a pin oh i don't remember getting a pin there isn't a pin in the box um, maybe there's a pin in the bag i mean uh, no not here i mean luckily they have given us lots of pins on other days so we can use a pin from one of those but that is a bit concerning the fact that they said there's a pin and i can't find it somewhere there's a pin waiting for me to <laughs> poke myself on and extra things you will need the dreaded hot glue and scissors you know what i really like this one i think it's looked pretty good i think i would make it again uh, i'd probably choose my own pom-poms and i'd use something different for the wire to hang it from um but it wasn't hard as long as you don't mind getting horribly burnt by hot glue every couple of seconds um it's cute i like it it kind of reminds me of the everlasting gobstopper from Woody wonka and the chocolate factory if you remember that terrifying movie <laughs> um but yes shall we get reviewing value for money well you get enough pom-poms to make this ornament which once again i said i really like um there are a few pom-poms left not many you definitely couldn't make it a second time but you could probably use them to uh decorate the tree from earlier so I'm left with green ones, so the tree wouldn't look that much more exciting. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give it five out of five. It cheered me up a lot from yesterday's lack of activity. Completeness of kit. Uh, it said you needed scissors. I did not use them, but you absolutely are relying on Mr. Hot Glue Gun here. Could you do this with other glue? You know, you probably could, but it'd take a lot of drying time and I think a lot of patience and a lot of waiting. Uh, so for completeness of kit, I'm only gonna give it three out of five because you could do it with other glues, but I think it would get frustrating fast. Finally, dexterity. I found this pretty easy. Um, the hardest part I think is controlling the glue gun. You can just sort of blob the pom-poms on. There doesn't really have to be an order to it if you don't want there to be. Uh, so for dexterity, I'm gonna give it a two out of five because I think pretty much anyone can do it as long as they are comfortable with using a glue gun. Should we go hang this on the tree? Yeah, I can't wait. Well, thank you for making it to the end of the video with me. I'd love to know what your favorite part was. If you could leave a comment in the comment section below. I really enjoyed making this craft and I think I'll do it again. If you could like, subscribe, turn on all notifications and share this video, that would be amazing. You can follow me at Enchanted Violin on Instagram, TikTok and Freds. Links will be in the description box below, as well as links to my online comic companions and my Patreon. And I'll see you tomorrow for, wow, halfway, day 12. I'll see you then. Bye.